Hi everyone, I'm the Witness Librarian and today I've got my birthday book haul for you. So it's my birthday on Monday and uh, this video is going to be filmed, the first part is filmed today on Thursday and then my mum's taking me out tomorrow and my dad's taking me out on Saturday so I'm probably going to end up with some more books then. So once I've done this first part we'll skip over to Future Limitless Librarian uh, after that part. So today I visited a second-hand bookshop. Actually, I visited two. Um, so this first part of the book haul is going to be second-hand books. And I did go a bit crazy because we did go to two bookshops today. Got two bags of books to get through. So let's begin with bag number one. This bookshop I spent 80 something dollars at. This first book is Dream Cars, which I bought for my dad. I think it's a book of about lots of old cars, or like classic cars, or important cars, I don't know. My dad will know more about that. Next we have Rowley Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories by Jeff Kinney. This is a Diary for Wimpy Kid Companion, one of three books so far that is focused on Rowley, who is Greg Heffley's best friend. I really like um, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, which is one a diary told from Rowley's perspective. It, it's really dark, actually, and gives the, the main series a really dark spin. So if you like Wimpy Kid, I'd highly recommend at the very least checking out the first one of the Rowley books. Uh, the second one is Rowley Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Adventure, which I also liked. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what is going to happen in this one, but I'm keen to read it. And I've been meaning to pick it up for a while. This one is Robo Dog by David Williams, another kids author that I really enjoy. He is um, considered to be um, Roald Dahl's modern day successor in a way by some. Uh, so yeah, that's one of his that I haven't read. Next we have No Longer Human, the manga edition by Chika Ito. I think this is a romance story. I haven't read the original version that this is a manga adaptation of, but it seems to be a self-contained volume, so hopefully I will enjoy this. We have Stitches by Hirokatsu Kihara and illustrated by Junji Ito, who is a famous um, horror manga writer and artist. So this is uh, a horror anthology. It's very short um, in manga form. I haven't read any Junji Ito work or seen any of his art. I do mean to pick something up uh, by him at some point, so hopefully it's be a nice little introduction. Next is The Calendar by David Ewing Duncan, which is a book chronicling the history and development of the calendar, which I actually did a project on in primary school. So, uh, yeah, that, hopefully that sounds interesting, and I'm sure there's going to be some sort of maths going on with the history of that. So, yeah, that sounded interesting to me. There are a few maths books I managed to find today, so that is pretty neat. Speaking of which, Lewis Carroll in Numberland by Robin Wilson. This is about uh, Lewis Carroll, who is the author of Alice in Wonderland. What you might not know about him is that he was also a mathematician and, according to this, wrote some maths books. So this is, I'm guessing, going to be a bit of a biography that is focused on his mathematical work, which is really interesting because I have always wondered what maths he actually did. So hopefully I will find out all about that. Next is The Tenant of Windfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Which seems to be a horror story that is kind of a mystery. Interesting, this is in the kids section, so I don't know anything about it, but hopefully it'll be interesting. It caught my eye because it, it sounded interesting and it has this funky black and green cover and I love green, in case you're couldn't tell. So, 
who knows hopefully that'll be interesting next we have number freak by derek niederman which is a book going through numbers from one to two hundred which is pretty cool because most books like this only go to 100 and just giving facts and trivia about them in terms of both maths and general random trivia about them so I've got a couple of books in today but like I said this is the first one that goes all the way up to 200 that I've seen so that's neat in and of itself and last one from that bookshop is History of the Circle by Ernest Zabrowski. Zabrowski? Well, either way, I'm guessing this is exactly what it says on the tin. History of mathematics of the circle and the development of it. I really enjoy the history of maths. So this was also a nice find. So that was Bag of the First. And there are a couple more little maths books in the second lot. Welcome back. Here we are with Bag the Second. This one I spent $95 at this bookshop, but I got a whole lot more because this bookshop was cheaper than the other one. So we have Life of Pi by Jan Martel. I've seen the movie of this, so I wanted to read the book. It's about the Indian boy in a boat with a tiger. Um, yeah, I've seen the movie, so yeah, I wanted to read the book. Next is The Ballad of a Small Player by Lawrence Osborne. This is about a guy at a casino and he keeps winning and I don't know what goes on from there. It was in the fantasy section and it, the thing did mention Lady Luck showing up in some form. I don't know if that's literal or metaphorical given that it was in the fantasy section. It sounded interesting to me though. Next we have Wake by Amanda Hocking. This is a YA romantic, urban fantasy, you know, sort of thing um, with water powers and maybe a bit of mythology. The blurb kind of implied that, so that sounded interesting to me. It is Henry VIII Wolfman by A.E. Morat, which is a historical fantasy alternate history about Henry VIII as a werewolf, which sounds fun and interesting to me <laughs> and there was a second one like that which I picked up which is not that book it, it'll show up in the bag somewhere in the meantime we have Tunnels by Roderick Gordon and Brian Williams this is about a boy who discovers some mysterious tunnels underneath London so that sounds interesting i don't know what the tunnels are going to be how much is this going to be horror or fantasy or or what it'll be interesting to see so there were five books that were in a series that i grabbed here are two of them i don't know what the order was if anybody is familiar with the series and knows what the order is please let me know in the comments here we have Evernight and Stargazer by Claudia Gray. The series seems to be about a boarding school for vampires, which is right up my alley. I like vampires. I like, you know, boarding school, fantasy school fiction. I like House of Night, which is a similar sort of thing. So th there were three more in that series, so I grabbed them all. Meanwhile, here is the other historical uh, retelling one, Queen Victoria Demon Slayer, Demon Hunter, sorry. So, again, about Queen Victoria, who uh, hunted demons in this alternate universe. So that sounds like a lot of fun. I particularly enjoy the Victorian era, so that will be interesting. Because I found two... Horrible Histories books, Slimy Stuarts and Smashing Saxons by Terry Deary. These are fun history books uh, aimed at kids, but that have lots of um, fun and gory history in them and cartoons and all sorts of things. And you've probably seen 
the awesome Horrible Histories TV show, if nothing else. So I picked those up. So we have This Pony is Dangerous by Diana Pullen Thompson. About a girl who is going to tame a seemingly dangerous pony. I like horse books, so I grabbed this when I saw it. Here are the other three vampire school books. I have Balthazar, Afterlife, and Hourglass. So again, if anybody knows the correct reading order, or if I am missing any, please let me know in the comments. That will be greatly appreciated. So we have Murderous Maths Secrets of Sons by Kyartan Poskit. I have a few other Murderous Maths books, so I'll grab this one because I hadn't seen it before. And there was another one as well. Yep. Awesome Arithmetrix. So these are kind of like horrible histories, but for maths. One thing I like in the Murderous Maths books is that they have all these characters as well. And they kind of tell stories with the maths integrated in them, and it's funny. Yeah, very much has Horrible Histories energy to it. So if you like Horrible Histories and that kind of form of uh, edutainment books, please maybe check those out. So we have C by Tom McCarthy. This is some kind of historical, interesting sort of things at the turn of the 20th century, which I think is what the C is supposed to represent because C is 100 in Roman numerals. So hopefully that will be interesting. So we have Dreamer's Guide to the Galaxy by Leon Naxon, which is just a book about dreams. So it goes through all sorts of stuff about dreams and I guess how to document your dreams or interpret them or something. So that was kind of random and seemed interesting. Next we have Krakatoa Lighthouse by Alan Bailey, which is about a boy who ends up at uh, Krakatoa and gets caught up in the eruption. I guess, I guess that's a bit of a uh, grim way of putting it, but he's there when it erupts, so that'll be interesting. I've heard of Krakatoa, but I don't know like specifics of the eruption, but that sounds like an interesting story to me. Next we have A Horse Called Hero by Sam Angus. This is about a, a war horse during one of the world wars. So that sounds interesting to me. It's sort of in the vein of Michael Morpurgo, who I like. Next we have Dead Famous Inventors and Their Bright Ideas by Mike Goldsmith. I think this is another Horrible Histories-esque series about I guess famous inventors and stuff they invented which is uh, sounds interesting to me that's something that I'm interested in especially some of the stories behind them this is Before the Crown by Flora Harding this is about Queen Elizabeth II's courtship with um, with Prince Philip um, I think before she was queen so historical and sounds Interesting. A while ago, I read a book called *The Governess* by oh, I forget what her name was. Someone Holding, which was about um, well, um, Princess Elizabeth's uh, governess, uh, Marion Crawford, and I really enjoyed that. So hopefully, I'll enjoy this one as well. I think this is the last one. *The Godfather Was a Girl* by Eamon Newins, which is about p- real people who inspired fictional works so that sounds interesting and kind of random to me so it has a bunch of yeah famous fictional characters and i guess about the real people that inspired them so that is all i have from the second hand bookshops but that is not the end of the video i will get back to you in a couple of days with whatever i end up picking up tomorrow and on saturday for my birthday so See you in a couple of days or a couple of seconds since you're watching this after it's been edited. Hello everyone, I am now Future Limitless Librarian and one year older since 
however many seconds ago it was since I since you watched the first part of this video. I'm back with the rest of my big bad birthday book haul. So I'm going to start with the books my dad bought me on Saturday. First I have this box set of scary stories to tell in the dark by Alvin Schwartz. I, I know the, these are like horror stories I think. I know there's a movie based on them. And the other one uh, he bought me was Bride by, by Arlie Hazelwood, which is a vampire werewolf, um, I think a Starcross lovers type story. I've uh, wanted to pick this up for a while, so I did. Those two are both new books. Next, I have the ones that my mum bought me. We went to a second-hand bookshop and she bought me a bunch of second-hand books. Yeah. So we'll go into those. The first one is The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix, which is another one that I've been wanting to pick up for a while. Sounds right my alley. I am left-handed. I love books and I love stories in London. So right up my alley. Uh, this is one that I bought new when I went to a, a bookshop the other day as well. Uh, Desperate Measures, Murderous Maths by Kjartan Poskett. I really saw a couple of Murderous Maths books earlier in the video. So I also picked up the rest of the Twilight series because uh, I've read Twilight and I'm currently reading Life and Death, which is the gender-bent version of Twilight. So we have Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer, New Moon also by Stephanie Meyer, I think this is the second one. The other one is in the other bag possibly, this is another one that I bought new and that is Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. This is about a coven of witches in England that work in secret to protect the country. So that is the first bag. Right, we are back with bag the second. So we have Winter's Academy by Amber Withers, which I think is a magic school YA story. The Quick Sand Pony by Alison Lester, which I think is a children's book about the, a pony, obviously. I've heard of it before, but I've never read it, so I saw that and I wanted to read it. Neon Gods by Katie Robert. This is a modern day Hades and Persephone retelling. Yeah, there are a lot of these, but since I like Greek mythology, I figured I might as well grab this. Here is Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. I think this is the fourth Twilight book. I also grabbed this, which is a book based on the Eclipse movie that has photos and information from uh, making the movie. The Ghost Estate by John Connell. This is about uh, an electrician who goes to this really old mansion and there are ghosts there, I guess. So that sounds really interesting. I think it's an island too, and it, I think it has some stuff with Celtic legends or folklore in it. The Book of Rachel by Leslie Connold. This is, I think, a historical thriller sort of thing dealing with uh, women that appear in the Bible. So that sounded really interesting, a sort of feminist take on that. I have Island Awakening by Edward Rutherford. I think this is a sequel of sorts to the Dublin book that I bought in the last book haul. Uh, I guess I'm going through... Oops! Oh dear. More of the history. Warrior Princess Rhiannon of the Spring by Alan Fruin jones I think this is a Celtic historical sort of thing. And there's another book in this series. Here it is. Destiny's Path. There's the other one, the second one. 
Um, if you're reading this, I'm already dead by Andrew Nicole. This is about a Turkish prince who um, was in the circus or something uh, during one of the world wars, I think. Sounds kind of interesting. This is the last one, but it's Big Boy. And that is The Kindly Ones by Jonathan Little, which I think is set in Nazi Germany. And it was someone who I know was involved then. I seen a video by um, booktuber Criminoli featuring this book where he discussed it. I didn't watch it, but I saw it. And so I saw this, and I wonder if this is the same book. It was still called The Kindly Ones. I remember that because The Kindly Ones is the name for the Furies or the Erinys in Greek mythology. So uh, it still sounds interesting to me, so I grabbed that as well. And thus concludes the Big Bad Birthday Book Bonanza. So uh, I'd like to say thank you to my mum and my dad for all these lovely books. Oh, one more thing. My mum did also buy me, it's in the other room, but she bought me a... A box set of the first 10 Wings of Fire books. Uh, that is a series about um, dragons, like a dragon society. I know it has a big adult fandom. A lot of adults really enjoy it. So I hope I will enjoy it too. So there, that's now we're at the end. So thank you for watching uh, the video. Uh, if you like that, please like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, do lots of maths, read lots of books, and I'm sure you'll have an awesome day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and rescue my poor book children who fell off the chair before, as you heard earlier in the video.